these went faster than what I thought. What's going on YouTube? It's Tori AKT back again with another video here with Drip TV. I appreciate everyone tuning into the channel if you like sneaky content. I appreciate it if you just subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to stick around, it's free. I appreciate it. If not, I understand. But thank you again, small YouTube channel. Sneakerhead, sneaker connoisseur, sneaker enthusiast, however you want to call it. That's me. Love to talk about sneakers and everything in between. But today, I just wanted to do this real quick. Not going to sit here and talk about this too long. But at the same time, I had a feeling, and I said it earlier, that this may happen. The Jordan 8 flew off the shelf. Who would have thought everybody was going to go off the 8? Now, I don't know if it was a false height or what, but they didn't sit around like a lot of people thought they would where you can just, oh, I don't think I'll pick them up later and get them on sale. Now, I'll say this. I saw some stock numbers on uh, Twitter, or excuse me, X for Nike sneakers and it looked pretty slim. Now, I don't know how accurate that stuff is. And again, I don't know anything about that, but I don't know how accurate that stuff is. But I'll say this. If it was accurate, it wasn't that many. Like in my size 11 and a half, it was only like a thousand pair. So it seems like to me on the shock drop and the EA, Nike offloaded a bunch of their shoes. So copping on sneakers, and if you depend on sneakers, it's, you're not, I wouldn't count on that. JD Sports finish line, they sold out pretty quick. I was on their NQ looking, trying to see. I thought about doubling up. And as soon as I got through, which was like in two minutes, 11 and a half was gone. Started to get the 11, then I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. But throughout the morning, I kept looking, I kept looking. Most of all the other sites, the Shopify sites, Foot Locker and everybody, they started selling out. Local boutique stores, I noticed, started selling out. It didn't take long before these flew off the shelf. Small sizes, big sizes, every size in between. Now I know Nike did, they did throw some on the uh, Nike website. There were a few sizes. I don't know what's sitting now. You notice that the big sizes were gone. Mostly it was the smaller sizes and I don't know what's still sitting right now, but everything probably undersized, I don't know, seven was sitting, everything else was gone so a lot of people who were saying they were gonna wait and i know i told you guys to wait which was you know again try to save some money but i at least said wait till the exclusive access and do all that stuff and try to see if you can get it through heavy sports or uh finish line so you can save some money but if you sat back and waited yeah that was my bad on that that was just bad you know what i mean but if you sat back and waited too long yeah, I don't know how many more restocks they're gonna do with these. Now, I know that they've been hitting and missing some places here and there. I keep getting notifications on Twitter, but at the same time, yeah, I'm a little shocked that these flew off the shelf. Let me know down in the comments below if you did get a dub on sneakers or anywhere else, if you went and picked them up. Um, I decided not to double up, but I did get my daughter a pair so that she can use them. Uh, cause again, I think you might've heard me guys say, this is a good basketball shoe. So I got her a pair that she can be able to play basketball in, um, coming up next year. So I got a bigger size, but you know, wow. They shocked me. It is an OG. First time that the, came back with the red pull tab. Yes, there's some subtle differences. I know the midsole is a little bit different, some things, but listen, here's the thing. It's not always going to be the same. When a new shoe releases, they're never gonna get it exactly, exactly the same. But sometimes change is good, but at least we're getting some of the same features that we had before on the shoe. Me personally, I love the details on this shoe, and that is why I had to have it, you know, well, let's back up. I didn't have to have it, but I wanted to have it. We don't need any of this, but you know, it's nice to have. But I just love the details on it. The two, three, the chenille patch with the jump man on there. Again, if you watch one of my other videos, this is my favorite part of the shoe, the, the sole of the shoe. And, you know, it's just got that 90s vibe again too. Again, like with the inside of the booty right there with the colors and everything. But for me, you know, I know a lot of people like this on there, but again, like I just said, 
this was like my favorite part of the shoe as well as the straps and stuff and everything. Um, it's just iconic shoe. Love this shoe. Um, glad I was able to get it. Glad I didn't have to like fight to get it today. It's good that this shoe sold out. I'm glad it did. Um, not much resale. So that means people are buying it to wear it, which I like to hear. Again, wear your kicks. But if you don't want to wear them, that's totally up to you. Everybody grown, you can do what you want to do with your own money. But wear your kicks. I like to see it. I like to see stuff sell out when I know people are going to wear them. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you got a dub on these. If you've gone to the store, can't go out today, um, can't do any vlog, go to the store, see if anything's sitting. I, I'm actually having to do some work from home today. So, you know, watching football, doing that. And now I'm doing this too. So, you know, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you got a dub, let me know if you even got a double up or anything like that. Um, you know, maybe later somebody will restock and I might double up. But right now, it's not in my plans to double up. But again, we got a crazy month of October coming up with some pickups. I got a video that I want to talk about some of the upcoming releases. Let me know your thoughts and opinion on a lot of stuff that's going on. And, um, you know, I know you guys see that up there, but we'll talk about that later. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone out there. Appreciate our love and support. Again, see you in the next video. Remember, you never too old to drip. Stay blessed.